Hey, we're on the streets of Wexford Town today for another Geoengineering Awareness Day. Okay, lads, DVDs okay. in here. You just DVDs? have your flyers there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, just anybody talking that wants, uh, that's interested, give them okay. a DVD there, okay? Right, and you have loads of flyers there. We're all set up. We got our banners set up around this monument here. Yeah, we'll spread out. Yeah, spread out all around the place, Laura. Lovely job. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, the, he's noticed these things in the sky before. I'm down now in the middle of nowhere in Mayo, you know, in the Knock Airport, and probably two planes a day would leave from there. But the skies are continuously full of these uh, moil wired plumes of steam or smoke coming out of the back of them, you know what I mean? And they're crisscrossing each other, they're making patterns in the sky. And I've questioned them myself, I was wondering what, what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making a YouTube video, basically. Do you mind me asking you where you are from? Okay. Where are you from? Belgium. Belgium. You are all over here. Yeah. yeah. Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Yes! Lovely. On tour, lads, all of you together, students or something, yeah? Well, basically, have any of you ever heard of geoengineering? No, no, no. Well, Sorry, is it, is it, is it long because Look at. Look at. Two, two, one. Okay, one minute. See these trails? These trails in the sky? 15 years ago, trails like this were not in the sky, but now they are there every day. There's a deliberate, there are chemicals being deliberately put into the aviation fuel to, to modify the weather. Yep. Take a DVD, I'll give you a DVD each. Okay, thank you lads. Alright, Dad hadn't got a whole lot of time, but sure anyhow, we talked to him for a minute anyhow, that's the main thing. Get him a There's a lot of stuff going on up there that we need to know about, oh, yeah. because these, these trails, would you believe, that, that the ones that you're talking about, these are being used to actually modify the weather. There's particulates yeah, being sprayed. Around, yeah. There's particulates being sprayed into the atmosphere. This science has been known about for over a hundred years. And uh, when they spray silver iodide and aluminium into the atmosphere, they can actually modify the weather with these with these different materials. Yeah. And who would be doing that? That's a big question. Who, yeah. like governments, UN, uh, the, the United Na the United Nations have declassified that there are 42 countries now uh, deploying full-time weather modification programs. Uh, the U.S. military have sought to control the weather for over 100 years. Yeah. They wrote out a document called "Owning the Weather" by 2025, back in 1990s, and uh, they've written out hundreds and hundreds of patents yeah. going back as far as the 1920s on, on doing it, on doing anything from any anything from uh, artificial cirrus cloud creation to, uh, to uh, bringing on uh, artificial snow, to causing hurricanes. They've written out patents about all this stuff. Back yeah, go, go. in the 50s and times, it seems like these, these programs were being, were being oh, developed yeah. as to strategy what they were going to do so that they could we're control. Start selling us the weather. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you bet. That's exactly <laughs> it, man. Think about it. Yeah, if you, your country yeah. needs rainfall yeah. and you want the tax and you can create rainfall yeah. for that country, you say, okay, you pay up, you get your rainfall. Yeah. Look at California at the yeah. moment. They're yeah. having a drought, yeah. the worst drought that they've had in maybe a hundred years, second year in a row, and they've been told they can pipe water in from Northern California, but the pipelines yeah. are going to cost something like 20, 23 billion yeah. to get these pipelines in, and then they'll get water distributed. So that's yeah. like taxed water supply through pipelines yeah. instead of coming out of the exactly. air zone. Exactly. So there's big business in controlling the weather it's because w once you can control it, you, you control everything yeah, basically yeah, because the whole world relies on weather. That, the, you know. The Germans lost the Second World War through weather. There you go. Really? The Russians beat them. The weather. The winter beat them. Because of the you snow, know that. The they, oh yes. Yeah. Was born just after, so Exa yeah. the, the Russians, you know, waited for it, waited, if, if they, yes. enticed if, them in. If, exactly. If they had these programs in place, you see, they, they could have. Oh, they uh, could have said a bit. Hang on. They could, they could have stopped spring time with Hitler. They exactly. Stopped, <laughs> exactly. That's a great point you made there. But the, the weather being used uh, as a weapon. That's yeah. that's a fact. They they use it as a weapon. They, they used it in Vietnam as well to swamp out the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Yeah. Well, they were being developed then, but now yeah. we're yeah. looking at saying, well, what exactly is the purpose? And it looks yeah. like there's more than one yeah. advantage to yeah. what what is yeah. being done to yeah. to this this spring. Now the, sorry, yeah. the go, the government uh, denies this is going on. I phoned oh, yeah, yeah. I phoned the EPA, I phoned all government departments, Civil Aviation Authority, yeah. the Garda Shia Khanna, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 Department of Environment. I phoned Met Aaron as well, and uh, I was talking to Jerry Fleming actually, the, the weather forecaster. I got through to him. I couldn't believe it, but. Uh, he, he acknowledged that there are weather modification programs going on all around the world, but he said they're not going on in Ireland. So I questioned him then. I says, well, do you not think if they were going on over there that they're 
not, no, might have a knock-on effect over here. Yeah, and he yeah. goes, well, that's a good point. Like, so I got him to acknowledge that they're going on, you know, and that's a big, that's a big leap forward because the, the establishment denies it's going on. You know, there's something happening. Yeah, good man. Yeah. But look, uh, look at, right. thank you very much. Thanks, thanks a million for your time. No problem. No thank you very much. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. pass, pass it on. Have a conversation oh, yeah. with, with people. We need more awareness yeah. on it because yeah, if people aren't that. aware, then nothing can. We change. don't own the set. We're only, we're only passing. We're exactly. Only, that's we're it, man. After like the dogs own and the and exactly. trees and frogs own. But unfortunately, unfortunately, these these few elite in control think they own it. Yeah, true. Exactly. Here, we'll give you a couple more DVDs for your friends. Would you want some? Good man. Thank you. Get it there. No, all right. Uh, so you, somebody has told you about chemtrail geoengineering. You're, you're already aware of it. This. Yeah, I am aware of chemtrails, and uh, I I know what they're up to because they're they're doing it. I just it. want to show the flyer, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, because right, yeah. everyone's blaming it on global warming. Yeah. But this is what's going on. Yes. I believe. I yes. Do believe. Exactly. Well, I've seen enough this year to know that there's something not right going on. You, you know with that the weather. The, exactly. And there's nothing right with the skies, and you can see them if you look up in the skies. Certain days, you can fucking see them there. Right. Are you from Wexford, obviously? I'm yeah? from Tamon. Yeah. Tamon. All right. Yeah. So you'll see, you'll see them every day. We're under a busy airline here in Wexford, so yeah, you see yeah. these trails every day, and they're actually using these trails to modify the weather. This is old science to most people to think, oh, how the hell could they do that? They could do this a hundred years ago. Do you yeah. know. So how far have they come now? They 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 have been doing it regionally. Like like in little places here and there over the last hundred years, but now it's global. They're yeah. doing this in most countries around the world. The whole climate system has been actually modified. It is man-made when I first global heard about warming, it, but it's not. It's not made by yeah. common man. When I first heard about it, I was highly cynical. I thought yeah. it was all a load of conspiracy theories. Exactly, theory. as as most people do. Most people do. Yeah. But I actually believe that this is going on. Yeah. For sure. Good yeah. stuff. Well, look, I'm going to give you yeah. a, D, a couple of DVDs and a couple of flyers. Will you do your little bit and hand them out for me as well? Yeah. yeah, yeah no, lovely. I will. Anyway, not for me, but for all of us, yeah, for everybody, no, work, for your kids, for everything. Fair Beautiful. Play. Okay. Good someone's doing something anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much. Lovely job. Okay, this is Geraldine, one of our new recruits. She is from County Waterford. She is Water for Wild, Wild Places on Facebook, and she was at the last um, global march against chemtrails that we were at in Burr and County Offaly. That's where I met her there. This lady is wide awake to geoengineering and chemtrails, and she is passionate about getting this insanity stopped. Geraldine, you've known about this for how long? Can you tell us? Since last August. Last August. August yeah, the, okay. uh, the, the first global march against, uh, okay. the first or second global march against chemtrails. Right, you've got a fresh passion then to, yeah. a new, a new, a, a, to, to really get get this exposed uh, yeah I've only known you on Facebook for that length as well or whatever yeah and like you're posting every day and it's just brilliant to see people doing that and you're not only posting you're coming to, you're coming to these things on the streets and all and you're you're being active physically active as well because it's just being on Facebook all the time is not going to get us out of this mess. We've all got to make our, our presence known on the streets and be visible and get out and about and just tell people about this and, you know, have days like this where we have nice colourful banners like this. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, today we've had a lot of people talking and stopping and talking. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, well, not for, unfortunately, but there are no visible spray uh, trails today in the sky. But, uh, you know, it's not the most ideal day to be pointing it out to people or anything. No, but, uh, it never is. No, it's, it's always the way, like, but uh, sure, anyhow. Yeah, sure, ho but, uh, yeah. But anyhow, we have we have illustrations and all there, and an awful lot of people know that this is going on. We just got some great interviews there with a couple of people already, and people are aware, so that's that's just so powerful. So, uh, brilliant. Anyhow, you've come all the way from Waterford, and I've no doubt you'll be meeting up with us again to do yep. more these days, so Definitely. that's brilliant. Thanks okay. a million for coming, and okay. we will see you again. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Geoengineering uh, is the term given to uh, the modification of the Earth's climate. Our weather is actually, most of the weather that we're seeing now is not natural. It's been induced, it's been caused by programs that are going on uh, in the skies of Ireland and all over the world as well. Basically, every day, most days when you can see the sky, we don't even see the blue sky much anymore because we used to be the sunny southeast here in, our, in Wexford, but now we're just anything but that. We don't really see the blue sky anymore, but any day you will see the blue sky. Now, today you can't see them, but planes going over will usually leave big long trails, like these trails here. See them trails there? Look at big long trails. 
these trails never existed when I was a young fella, right? When I was growing up, they were always really short and they'd go in a couple of seconds, but they stayed up there for hours, if not all day nowadays. And because of these clouds and all of the programs that are going on, there are new clouds being created. See these clouds? There was, this is a new NASA cloud chart. There's only nine clouds when I was in school. All of these clouds are all new cloud types. All of these programs that are going on in space. Basically, there's artificial clouds being created with all the chemicals that's spraying. In, in a nutshell, that's what it is. But we all need to know about this because we're, our sunlight is being reduced. Are any of you sick of the weather? Yeah. You're sick of the bad weather, just rain yeah. every day. Oh, it's miserable, there's no sunshine and all. This is happening not by any accident. This is all engineered to happen. It's crazy stuff, but uh, we're going to give you a DVD each there. Hopefully you'll, you'll take one away and uh, give you a couple of flyers, maybe give them out in school to your friends, would you? Yes, yes. I know this sounds crazy, lads, but uh, the truth is stranger than fiction. Yes. Right, we're yes. going to give you some information. And that's it. Tell all your friends about geoengineering. I mean, look into it yourself, obviously, and believe that it's going on for us and understand how real it is. All right, lads. Thanks a million. Okay, so you've noticed these trails yeah. in the sky? These ones. Yes. I noticed them. They're like always in the sky when it's sunny. It's Have you ever of... questioned them? No, I didn't. I know they're from planes, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, they only linger in the last few years up in the sky. Uh, when I was more. growing up, they would have disappeared and dissipated in a couple of seconds. Yeah. But now they stay up there for hours, if not all day. Yeah. They're basically, they're being used to, to modify the weather. Uh, cloud seeding has been has been going on. It's an old science that's been going on for over a hundred years. And stuff. Huh? So like it rains more. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. Like there's weather modification companies all around the world. Yeah. The biggest one is in Beijing. Uh, Ten thousand employees. You can go onto the internet and you can get any amount of weather modification companies in America. You can get rain on order for the next day. You can have you can have sunshine. You know, if you're a crop owner, if you're a big landowner, this is a very very useful weapon. You know, useful tool. So yeah, but look into it. That's a really important film. What in the world are you spraying? Please watch it, my friend. I will. Thank you very much. Take care, brother. Right there's a stack of flyers for what school he is in? CBS. CBS at Wexford. And you just have a copy of what in the world they're spraying as well. Give them out, lads. Tell everybody about this because we can get our nice weather back. We used to have lovely summers here in Ireland. You used probably don't remember them. And the winters used to be even nice, you know. We used to have four seasons, but we don't have four seasons anymore. The weather has just gone haywire. We're having four seasons in one day. Crazy. And it's not only the weather. We're all suffering from this because the stuff they're spraying is causing respiratory problems, breathing problems. Uh, people's memories are getting worse with all the aluminium that they're spraying on us. Alzheimer's and autism and all. Crazy. Sure, look at lads, anyhow. Tell everyone you can. Yeah, right. Thanks a million. Lovely lads, thank you. Cheers, lads. Righty oh, two new recruits. <laughs> Mark and James. <laughs> cool, man. Excellent. Lovely. Uh, got Lovely. a stack of flyers here. Yeah. Here you go. Alright. Get to work. Excellent. I'll Mark, get stack of flyers. Here you go. Uh, Wexford Skywatch. We're, we're in the People newspaper this week. The, the people were just here. But uh, basically, you're saying friends of yours talk about this program, yeah, yeah. Chemtrail and Geoengineering. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what have you heard about? Well, I've read a whole heap of it recently on Facebook. Some of my friends are constantly looking up okay. what these people are doing to our planet. Are you talking about looking up? They're seeing. Yes. Yeah, they're the seeing. White stripes okay, along the sky. that's it. Okay, lovely. Okay. Tell everyone you can about it. I'm going to give you a couple of flyers and a DVD. Perfect. We all Thanks, need to get involved and get the word out and make this a common, you know, just in the common place, right. common, common, everyday subject, you know? Okay. okay. Thank you, ladies. Thanks, Lovely job. Come on, James. got chatting to a couple of people there real interested man real interested they're showing them the wells back Peyton which has the aluminium listed out in it for cloud seeding then I showed them my rainwater samples that showed up rain that showed up aluminium in the rain you know this is falling in Wexford and I see this crime going on every day so I know what's going on and th these people it makes sense it made sense to them it made total perfect business sense I was telling them about Monsanto and all that how they are coming out with a new seed line that can grow in aluminium contaminated soils. So this makes sense to people when you tell them the, the, the relevant facts and all. But anyhow, brilliant. I'm just, uh, we we just done a, a piece, uh, just had the People newspaper here taking a photograph for next week's People newspaper. It's a local paper. 30,000 people read this. So there'll be an article in that next week about geoengineering. Brilliant. In the morning, and I 
Take a look outside The sky's like I'm not so bored I'm sad, I'm not laughing I'm sick and I'm hopping mad I'm screaming from the roofs I'm made it Cause what it all comes down to Is that every little thing has been Spread, spread, spread And I got one hand in my pocket And the other one pointing at the camp trail Playing God with our planet and destroying 